I'm Mickey Morissette, founder of Choice Moms and the ChoiceMoms.org website. Choice Moms are women who proactively decide to build their own families. Often we're in our mid-30s when we decide that uh, we don't have a partner in sight and we can't waste any more time. So who do we need in our support network? Well, first of all, obviously, we need our emergency contacts. Who's going to take care of our child when we're sick? Who's going to be able to substitute going to the drugstore when our child is homesick? And extremely importantly, before we even bring our child home for the first time, who's going to take care of them if something happens to us seriously? I have changed my will many times, my guardianship papers many times since my daughter was born, but you need to have one in place uh, right away. Uh, so the emergency contacts are obviously a big thing and for that you know you're gonna wanna find people who are pretty flexible are pretty reliable you're gonna wanna know who your neighbors are you're gonna wanna know who's flexible enough who's a stay-at-home mom who's a retired person to handle an emergency such as you know if you're stuck someplace and you're not gonna be there to be able to meet your son when he gets off the bus and he's six um, who's who are you gonna be able to call so emergency contacts are a big thing obviously there's non mom friends you're gonna need I am f so much less stressed with my kids when I have had the opportunity to to socialize without my kids you know socializing with play dates and fellow moms is not the same thing as going out as an adult um, and having a separate identity from the mom role so you're gonna need non-mom friends as well to go out with and those are gonna change quite a bit I mean my friends in New York City when I was single um, really weren't that interested uh, in, in hanging out with me as much at home with the kids um, so you're gonna be adapting you know your circle of friends as well uh, you're gonna obviously need the fellow parents uh, we have a wonderful co-op situation now where you know I've got somebody who's got to go to a meeting uh, drops their child off and then I've got to go someplace and so I can drop my child off and you're not having to pay for the babysitter every time you need to do things like that so the fellow parents as your kids get older become a huge part of your support network you're also going to need uh, male role models so you might as well early on get used to the fact that you know you're going to want people in your support network who are men that you trust to be around your kids um, I've got two sets now uh, there's there's a group of basically 20 something primarily guys uh, one is behind the camera now uh, who uh, who not only give my kids exposure to s different personality characteristics and skills that mom doesn't have um, but they're also then exposing in the process my kids to things like you know music and website tools and how to fix things and uh, and that's you know just a great addition and I also hang out with uh, especially on weekends we do a lot of recreational activities with a couple other families with dads the uh, very active dads and uh, you know that could range from you know we do rock climbing we go and play soccer together um, uh, you know we go to different events and the, and the dads are just an integral part of uh, the weekend plans then you know there's the emotional support you're gonna need obviously we need to be able to talk openly about we need to be able to vent about whether it's our kids or whether it's something else uh, you know we, we're gonna need the emotional support certainly um, but on the friend front uh, you know choice moms discussion board is a really excellent online community where women have been able to talk about stuff they might be afraid to talk about with other friends because of the I told you so factor you know sometimes we're afraid to admit that it is stressful and we think we don't have the right to complain because we actively chose this um, everybody has the right to complain about how hard parenting is whether you're married or not and so being able to trust somebody that you can talk to about that is important um, uh, the other thing that you're gonna find that you're gonna need in your support network which is amazing is just the kindness of strangers you're going to be able to you're going to have to be able to ask uh, for somebody to help you get down the steps with your stroller and your baby and if uh, you know and if somebody offers you graciously accept the help um, because yeah we're strong people uh, we can do a, capable of doing a lot of different things but um, the goal of this is not to do it by yourself the goal of it is to expose our kids to as many healthy influences as we possibly can the goal is to have them surrounded by as many people who love and care about them as we possibly can and the goal really is to um, help ourselves maintain the balance 
So there are many really excellent ways that we can build our support networks. And one of those, of course, will be the choicemoms.org website. I'm very proud of the fact that as a community, we are coming together with the podcasts and the blogs and the video podcasts and the workshops and the discussion board. And we're coming together in new ways to connect with, within our own community. It's invaluable. Uh, the Single Mothers by Choice organization as well has been doing this for 25 years, being able to help women find each other in their local communities. And now with choicemoms.org, we're connecting to women worldwide who are making these steps and we're offering each other insight, non-judgmental insight, as well as support. I look forward to having more conversations with you on all of variety of topics. Uh, on the choicemoms.org website and I welcome you to the conversation I welcome you to the community and as always I welcome you to the choice moms journey <laughs>